here's one of the most prescient uh, recognition of what the GOP continues to represent and an example as to why it is that Joe Biden better not do the same thing that many other Democrats do. Check this out and then we'll take it on the other side. The entire party almost is behind the president as he tries to steal, tries and fails to steal an election. It's outrageous and they have been his enablers from the very beginning. They stood by him uh, with his, you know, they enabled his uh, violent rhetoric. They enabled his actual violence on the streets of Washington, D.C., uh, his racism, his white nationalism, his open attacks on key democratic institutions in this country, the free press, the Department of Justice, the courts, the election itself. And so, you know, the story is we shouldn't buy into this Joe Biden line, they'll have an epiphany after he's gone. No, this is who they are. We call them the GOP. There's nothing grand about them. A new study out today out of Sweden says that they're more uh, authoritarian or as authoritarian as the Hungarian party of government, of Viktor Orban, as, as the Turkish government. Yeah, this is this. I want to this study that was written up in the Washington Post today about sort of this the authoritarian trend lines in public opinion among Republican voters here, and I think this is is really worrying. I think you know one of the things, Jennifer, that is really striking me about the modern GOP and the Trump era is that it views itself fundamentally as a kind of minority movement in some ways, like or or or, or, or that if democracy gives it the wrong answer, then the worse for democracy. It's not like this sort of expansive, from a political perspective, like Nixon and Reagan, I think, who were, we don't have to get into the substance of them, had a political vision that like, we can win a majority of Americans and we will do that and we will govern. This idea that like, well, if we can't win, well then the worst for democracy. This is the exact um, game plan of a group who doesn't have a message, doesn't have a majority. They're part of a diminishing, demographic. And so they do what people who can't win in a democracy do, and that is they become authoritarian. They begin to undermine democracy. It's their only hope. That's what voter suppression is about. That's what um, disinformation is about. That's what attack on uh, institutions is all about. That you slowly, slowly increase power by simply running over the lines of democracy and you intimidate, bully people. And this is how a non-representative minority stays in power. First of all, though, it is not about they just want to be a minority government. In other words, government by the minor minority. They actually want to be right. They want to be in power, irrespective of minority majority. Numbers don't matter in their case. Policy does. If you take a look at the policies that they represent, it doesn't matter who wants the policy. It just matters whether the policy is that the policy of this oligarchy this uh, this type of oligarchy driven by the, the Koch brothers and others. So again, democracy doesn't matter. And whenever they talk democracy, or even when they try to tailor minority, sort of minority rule with democratic republic, oh, America is not a democracy. America is a democratic republic. What the hell does that mean if that representative democracy is driven by borders that ensure that a minority rules makes no sense that is what they represent and that is what we have to do in starting in georgia to make sure we mitigate it by extricating that type that type of ideology from the entire government of the united states we spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.